Hey everybody, today we're talking about your multiplication and division facts. You will need to memorize these one day, but until then we'll give you a few little helpful hints. Let's start by remembering that any number times zero equals zero. Nine times zero is zero, zero times six is zero, and even zero times zero is zero because any number times zero equals zero. Great. What about the number one? Any number times 1 is itself, so 7 times 1 is 7, 1 times 8 is 8, even 1 times 1 is 1, because any number times 1 is itself. The 2's we're a little familiar with because we've done skip counting, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on, that you kind of remember. The 3's maybe you still kind of remember, those numbers aren't that big, but then when we get to the 4's maybe it starts getting a little harder. For instance, if I couldn't remember that 4 times 8 is 32, maybe I could notice, hey, I have 4 eighths, and 4 eighths is really just 2 eighths and 2 eighths, right? So if I can remember 2 times 8, then I can just double that, and boom, you see, I still have 32. The 5s are kind of fun. We remember those from skip counting 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. 6s may be a little trickier, but the 7s seem to be what a lot of people don't remember. And most of these we know already. So, for instance, if I thought, hey, I don't know that 7 times 2 is 14, but I do somehow magically remember that 2 times 7 is 14, then I really do know them both, right? Okay, great. So what about the 8s? The 8s we might need to break up. So if I was trying to remember that 8 times 7 is 56, I'd want to notice, hey, I've got 8 7s. And I could separate that into 4 7s and 4 7s, right? So then that's just 28 and 28, which is 56. And you could break it up other ways. So if you wanted to do uh, three sevens and five sevens, you could do that. No problem. The nines are kind of fun because I can use the tens to get to the nines. So for instance, let's say I can't remember nine times six is 54, but I do remember that 10 times six is 60. Well, I say, hey, that's 10 sixes. I'm trying to get to nine sixes. Wouldn't it be great if I could just take one six away? Yes, you can, and that's how you could maybe remember your nines. The tens are easy. We just throw the zero on the end, and kablamo, let's move on to division. Division and multiplication are friends, and that's good for us because they are opposite friends. That means that if I know one, I know the other. So, for instance, let's say I know 7 times 9 is 63. Then I also know that 63 divided by 9 is 7, and I also know that... 63 divided by 7 is 9. So look how much you know. Couple rules here, you cannot divide by 0, that is to say, you cannot divide by 0, you cannot divide by 0. Okay, and any number divided by 1 is itself. So 6 divided by 1 is 6, 0 divided by 1 is 0, and 1 divided by 1 is 1, because any number divided by 1 is itself. Let's do one example together. 27 divided by 9, Let's say I don't have that memorized, but I say, hey, I do know that 9 times something is 27, and I'm so good at my 9s and my 3s that I remember that fact as well. So now it's up to you. Time to memorize.